Are you struggling playing with the metronome? Do you absolutely hate the metronome? In this video, discover how to practice playing with the metronome as a violinist. Hi, I'm Heather Kay. I specialize in working with dedicated adult violinists who desire to develop impeccable technique and to play with gorgeous stone. The biggest mistake I see violinists make when they play with the metronome is that it's just clicking away with no reference to what exactly is being played. Just turning the metronome on and playing and hearing the click and not knowing if you're playing with the metronome or not is not the way to practice playing with the metronome. When you hear the click of the metronome and after you hear the click, you play, you will always be late playing with the metronome and that is not going to help you as well. So how to practice playing with the metronome? First off, you need to understand how to anticipate the beat. So for a split second before you hear the click, you should be thinking about that next beat. When you hear the click and then you play the beat, it will be late. So how can we practice this? The first step, and literally it is the first step, is not to play at all. I'm going to go ahead and turn the metronome on and we're going to walk with the metronome. So I have it set at 92, you can set it at 80. And all you need to do is walk with the metronome and making sure that each foot and each step is with the click. Why this is important is because when you put your foot down on the floor and that's matching the click, there was a moment where you had to think a second before the click of what to do. You had to anticipate the fact that you have to lift your leg up and set it down with the click. So this is the same in violin playing. It's a physical movement that we make with our arm to move the bow or to uh, pluck with the finger. And we have to think before the click in order to be with the click. It's not click foot or click play, you'll be late. You need to anticipate and play Think about moving your body before the click in order to be exactly with the click. First step is to walk. That's going to really help. And when you step for each click, that's your quarter notes. Okay, one click, one step. That's your quarter notes. Then when we go twice as fast, That's our eighth notes. When you practice <laughs> twice as fast with your eighth notes, you can think every click it will be with the left foot or every click will be with the right foot. And that way you're going to make sure that you are stepping to the eighth notes with the metronome. Once you're able to walk with the metronome, your quarters and your eighths, then you can bring your bow into the picture. Now, if you find 92 is too fast, you can always slow down the tempo to be at 80 or even down to 60. The speed is not important. What is important is that you're exactly with the metronome. So I have it at 92. Let's continue with those quarter notes. We'll start walking. Right, left, right, left. You have your bow. And all I want you to do is to bow down, up, down, up, down, up down, up, as you're walking. Okay, these are quarter notes. And then we'll go into eights. Back to quarters. Two eighths. Okay. Then you're ready to take it to the violin. Again, 92 is a little bit speedy, but I'm just using it as a demonstration for the video. And I'll start the metronome again. We'll start walking. These are our quarters, okay? And with a bow. Okay, then we'll add the eighths. 
Here we go. Start with the legs. Get them going as the eights. And then with the bow. Okay. It's a bit challenging to put the legs and the arm together and then be bouncing up and down and playing the violin at the same time. But it gives you the idea of how this rhythm gets into the bow arm. So then eventually just take out the legs and <laughs> play with the metronome without the walking. So start with quarters. And then eighths. And I would do that on open strings. Don't worry about notes or your left hand. Just get this feeling of the rhythm in your right arm. Now, if you want to take it even further, you can apply this method to triplets. So what we'll do is we're gonna slow the metronome down to 60 because triplets are really pretty quick. What I see is the biggest mistake with triplets is the fact that they're not equally placed. So triplets need to be, but sometimes they get uneven and they kind of turn into maybe an eighth and two sixteenths somewhere in the middle of eighth, two sixteenths and triplets. So just make sure that each note in the triplet is equally spaced. So let's first do our walking. I have it down to 60. So I have, you can't even think before you start. Triple it, triple it, left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, it will walk to it. So get the feeling of that triplet. Of course, you can always clap, but the walking really gets it internalized into your entire body. You just really feel that. So then you can air bow as you're walking. Think before you even play or air bow, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. Okay, and then we'll put it together, the walking and the air bow. Triple it, triple it. Okay, excellent. Now what I love about this exercise is the fact that as violinists, when we play triplets, each triplet is a different bow direction. So our first triplet starts down. Our next triplet is up. Okay, and you can really feel that as you're tapping it out. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And then as you're playing that with on the violin with the bow, you can feel the fact that every triplet is a different bow direction. So it alternates. First one's down, next one's up, next one's down, next one's up. So you get that feeling in your bow arm. The next tip I have for you is when you're working out your rhythms, whether it's a triplet, 16th note, or a rhythmic combination between beats, is to make sure that you start on one beat and line it up with the next beat and stop in the next beat. So if we're doing triplets to the metronome, we have, and that might be challenging. So just do one triplet in the first note of the next triplet. you can really know if that triplet is being placed accurately if you are landing the next triplet with the click. So I've given you quite a bit to work on in this video on how to really internalize that beat within your body to anticipate it, not to be a reaction to the click, but to anticipate what you need to do in order to play with the click. After you go through this, I would suggest playing a simple piece, like a folk song or a Bach minuet, and make sure that you can play exactly with the metronome from beginning to end. That way you understand how to retrain yourself to play with the metronome, and then you can take it to more difficult advanced pieces to know that you are truly playing with a metronome and it's not some background click that has no relationship to what you are doing. 
If you like this video, I'm sure you would love to subscribe to my email newsletter where I send out every week <laughs> tips on how to become a better violinist and updates on the courses that I offer online, whether they are workshops, online programs, or private sessions. I'll leave a link here in the video where you can register for my newsletter, or you can find the link in the description below. Have fun practicing with the metronome. Ciao!